We have about 20 years left until we kill the Earth. Okay, that was dramatic. We have about 20 years left to get our carbon footprint under control before the Earth starts to kill us even more than it already is. And I'm sorry to be the one to tell you that a lot of the things you think you're doing to avoid living through an apocalyptic climate change driven nightmare aren't helping out as much as you thought. We're about to go on a whole magical journey of education. I know this may come as a shock, but a lot of the things that you're doing to help the planet through conservation and recycling are actually hurting it. That's right, you are killing the planet. Not just by putting a number seven plastic in a number five bin, or by not bothering to separate trash from compost. You're killing it through all of the ways you think you're saving it. All right, you might not be killing the planet, but you're for sure like kicking it in the shins. Take straws, for instance. Those fancy paper things that you get from the coffee shop are not actually much better for the planet than plastic straws. It's estimated in the US we use 500 million straws per day, and as many as 8.3 billion plastic straws wash up on beaches every year. And so one day, some idiot was like, yo, what if we use paper straws instead of plastic ones? And a bunch of other people were like, yo, that's a good idea. Well, guess what? No, it's not. First, plastic straws are estimated to make up only 0.03% of total plastic waste by mass. And while paper straws are biodegradable and they take less time to decompose, paper straws and paper bags for that matter, have to come from either fresh raw materials like trees or recycled materials, which cost both more energy and water to go through the recycling process than plastic straws. So yes, plastic straws are awful, but all things considered, paper straws aren't all that much better. But Lee, what about reusable cotton tote bags? I'm glad you asked. Uh, reusable bags or reusable anything is in theory better when it comes to the environment. And I mean, yeah, single use plastic bags are the devil, <laughs> but make no mistake, unless you're using one cotton reusable tote bag consistently for at least 11 and a half years straight, according to a Danish study published in 2017, you're still fucking up the planet. And that doesn't mean take a new one home every month because you forgot the others that you wrap underneath your sink and an even bigger bag. What's more, those reusable cotton tote bags produce over 600 times more water pollution than its single use plastic counterpart. Are you one of those people buying biodegradable makeup wipes or baby wipes? then you're also part of the problem. In a test of over 101 single-use flushable products, it was discovered that none of the wipes tested were able to fall apart or disperse safely through the sewer system test, which after ruining your plumbing and our sewage infrastructure, they make their way to pollute the environment. Speaking of polluting the environment, which is literally the only thing we're talking about, you shouldn't be crushing aluminum cans. I know you might think you're saving space and thus using less recycling bags, but most recycling facilities use an automated sorting process and crushed cans often get discarded or sorted improperly as paper or crushed plastic, in which case they aren't being recycled and reused. And this is important because aluminum cans can be reprocessed and reused an infinite number of times. So if you want all these green efforts to actually help the planet, here's what you should be doing. You should be using the same single steel straw forever. You should be reusing the same set of paper bags for light things and the same exact plastic bag that Devil gave you as often as possible since they're weirdly strong. If you have a cotton tote bag, keep that shit for as long as you possibly can, at least a decade, but preferably just until you die. You shouldn't crush aluminum cans. I know it makes for great social media content after you shotgun a beer in your friend's shower, but don't. What about the baby wipes? Oh yeah, the baby wipes. Uh, well, you should replace those with a cloth or use your hands. And I'm not saying you should wipe your ass with your hands. I am not saying that. You should definitely use toilet paper for that. Or you could use one of those tote bags that you now feel so guilty about. Feel free to comment below and tell me what you want me to explain next week. I read all of the comments and I cry loudly. But please comment below, tell me what you want me to explain next.